Duff McDaniel is going to whip Tom and the rest of us into shape with the ultimate holiday survival nutrition guide. Guys, those are things to you. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, we've got uh, Jeff McDaniel here talking about uh, ways to get your weatherman in shape for the holidays. Oh, well, we're, we're going to work on that a little bit later. But, uh, but you, Jeff, you, you brought in what looks like, are we going to drink, is this vinegar? <laughs> no. You wish no. it was eggnog. Eggnog? I mean, in that. Okay, I'll give you this. I'm not a huge eggnog fan, so you're safe really? here. But but what are we doing here, Jeff? You know, I question people saying? who don't like eggnog. I mean, that's like your your palate is not. Yeah, something's I'm up there. Eggnog guy. All right, so it is the most wonderful time of the year, health standpoint. It's looking at the, like the most weight gain period of the year. You know, five to yeah. ten pounds for the average American. So you know, we you don't want to not eat when you go to parties and events. But but what we're looking at is throughout a person's lifetime, they're gaining more weight from Halloween to New Year's than from New Year's to Halloween. Throughout really? their lifetime, it's this time of year. I mean, you think it gets cold, it's dark, sweatpants come on. You know, you got some built-in excuses of January one, and let's just face it, the food is sinfully delicious. So, we want to look at like some uh, some damage control strategies to help you kind of walk into the new year without that spare tire. What's step one? Okay, step number one: day planner. Make a plan. You got to have a plan. So, like, you do this for your work appointments. You do this for important meetings. You have to schedule your cheat meals just like you would that. So you need to take this out and plot out the important dates that you're going to be doing parties. If you know, let's say you're someone who kind of indulges on the weekends, but you have a company Christmas party on Tuesday, and you're going to turn it up. It's not going to be transformation Tuesday. You're going to be transforming the other direction. Well, maybe on that weekend you dial back in more on your nutrition. And you just take out your planner or your app, and you go through, and you pick out the cheat days you're going to have. And just know that you're going to kind of turn it up on those days, and things around those have to be tight. So, so I get, what, four or five cheat days a week? Is that the way this works? Boy, that would be, uh, you know, yeah, the, the yeah. five to ten pounds would come on in one week. <laughs> right, you know, right. So what? Cheat days, how many? What, what's reasonable? One a week? One every two weeks? Well, what, what, once or twice a week is good and fair. I mean, it's it's really once or twice a week, as long as you're keeping the, the days around that pretty tight with your nutrition, it's good. Okay. And you can handle that. All right, number two. Exercise first thing in the morning. Don't put it off to the end. This is a busy time of year for many people. It's a stressful time of the year, especially if you're one of those people that kind of kill themselves trying to get the perfect gifts. If you wait till the end of the day, it's probably not going to happen. Again, we've got that built-in excuse. Get up first thing. It could be body weight, cheap resistance band, pair of light dumbbells. Get some morning activity in and, uh, you know, maybe turn on THB this morning and work out, you know, motivated by Tom. That's one big rubber band here. Well, this is a cheap kind of training tool right here, you know? Yeah. Hey, another thing. Eat, get protein and produce first before diving into the sugars and starches. Okay. So, like, you know, listen, turn up on the ham, the turkey, the veggies. Hopefully it's not, like, uh, you know, smothered and casseroled with, uh, you know, sugary cranberry sauce and stuff like that. But protein and fiber first can fill you up. My go-to trick, I have a nice little protein shake before I go off to some big event. Okay. And uh, with, some, with some added fiber, and I go in there, and I don't, uh, I don't lose friends because I devour the, the plate. Okay? Number four, liquid calories. Okay, so... Uh-huh. You know, the only thing worse than drinking alcohol or drinking eggnog is drinking eggnog mixed with alcohol. You know, I mean, seriously, it's, uh, you've got... Now, wait a minute. I don't know about that. There are a lot of people that think that's a good thing. It could be. It could be. But if you're, if we're talking about, you know, uh, weight loss, you got to look at, you can easily consume a thousand calories a day sure, sure. from fluids. That's two pounds of body fat. Opt more for solid food choices. You know, right. save it. You really can't do both unless you're 21, you know, and you got a fast metabolism. You can't go liquid calories and solve at the same time. Okay. So yeah. That went all the way there. Jeff McDaniel helping us out here, trying to trying to help you plan a little bit better for you. We got donuts. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Just here, put them in the glass, and we'll blend okay. them up. Hey, right. THB viewers right here, holiday <laughs> survival like recipe guys. Glass guys. of juice with that donut. Pick it up. Yeah, very Jeff? healthy. Jeff. Uh,